Hey there, I'm happy to have you back on the channel and we have another incredible story for you guys today. What we love, abandoned houses, but this one has an amazing story. Let's hop inside of the barn because this is where the story starts. This is the house of uh, two elderly people, was the house of two elderly people. They unfortunately passed away, left behind all their belongings. Their children don't want it or don't get it separated correctly but these people they were really into fun and games they they have they have a lot of collections inside of the house here in the barn they have a pool table they have a piano outside you're gonna see it all but over here <laughs> you have this pool table and i'm just or is a soccer table a snooker table i'm not quite sure but wow this thing is amazing i would love to have it at my house you can see it does even these uh, this is a pretty expensive one, I think. Tissens Legers. This is a Belgian from Avers. It is made in Belgium. Wow. Belgium made things. I love to see that. Here is the barn where the man of the house, uh, his name was John, I think. Yeah, Jean. Jean. Yes, his name was John. I read on the papers inside. And this is where John used to work on stuff. He might have made some things. He liked to yeah, fabricate some things himself because yeah, he's a collector and uh, wow. See here the pool sticks. Probably made this himself as well. There are also some more interesting stuff in this garage where this is the stove where that John used to use in the winter because it was getting cold here in Belgium, of course. And then we have this press, some sort of press. We don't know quite sure what it was used for. Wow. And look at these milk jugs. These are incredible the decay on them there's even dirt and everything looks like he dove them right, right out of his garden dug them up oh, wow. all the tools and everything i just love it let's have a look at the at the piano here in this little open chat we have a few more things got this kind of scale here they have a lot of skills inside of the house, so they probably used it for their collections to weigh stuff, but I'm not quite sure what they would weigh. And they have another scale over here. It's a four scale, five kilograms, pretty old school. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jody, I was wrong. It's not a piano, it's an organ. Oh. <laughs> Still cool. Still very cool. Does it need pipes to, to operate or does it operate by electricity? I'm not quite sure. It's but it's it's made in Brussels, the capital city of Belgium. Von Zeebronck. Wow. So they also had a very big conservatory. I'm gonna go further in the story right now. So Jean was the man. He used to shed and everything. And I think Louise used to spend her time in here. Maybe gardening a little bit, but he was also most active inside of the house with the collections. She had a huge comic book collection inside, so that's pretty cool to see. Louisa was the oldest uh, living person inside of the home. Jean died first, and Louisa lived as an elderly person, I believe till around the age of 90 years old inside of this place. And she even used to ha have walking aids and people used to come to, to help her out in here. But uh, yeah, she, she lived uh, in this home till she died at a happy age around 90 years old, so that's pretty cool. And they, they seem to be a happy couple inside of this place. They had a lot of fun things and there were a lot of uh, rooms upstairs. So they probably had some grandchildren, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But first look at this conservatory. They even had uh, wine barrels inside of here. They probably made their own wine. They're very creative people, which I really like. I try to be a creative person myself as well, but uh, sometimes it's not happening. <laughs> but wow, these are wine plants. These are all for wine, so they probably made their own wine inside of here. How cool is that? We're not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. I know you wanna see the house. We're standing now behind it here. And wow, it's actually a pretty big house. Uh, there are a lot of rooms inside. I've been inside of there. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's check it out. So guys, we're now inside of the house. This place has been abandoned since 2009. So that's a pretty long time. That's around 10 years ago right now. But the place is falling apart a little bit. In 2009, Louise, she died, unfortunately. But she had a nice age, around 90 years old. I would love to live till that age. We now walk into, her, into their primitive kitchen. 
Does the water still run? No, it doesn't run anymore. Wow. This is a little bit of a hobby room over here. You see some cards that the ch grandchildren made. What does it say? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's you wishing them a happy, uh, happy new year and a merry Christmas. That's very cool. Was a little bit stuck together. <laughs> wow. They also love to travel the world, I think, because they have a lot of world maps in this place and a lot of, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Another world map over here, like on the desk. Oh, this one is from Europe. Oh man, I think this place, Jordi, I think this place got abandoned around New Year. Because there are so many New Year cards around here. Wow, this is from 1993. It's uh, regarded to the grandpa and grandpa, grandma and grandpa, from their child kid, uh, Kun. There and there. Wow, that's so fortunate. Little sewing machine over there. These are probably the man's shoes. Jean's shoes. Nothing in she. Yeah, but it's a pretty new one, so that that's why I didn't mention it. But it's a no man, it's a German brand. Zigzag program. Pretty cool actually to see. There's even some uh, fabric still underneath it. Wow. I love these shoes over here. From the hobby room over here, we walk straight into the living room. And here we can see another part of Louisa, her collection. This is her comic book collection. But I see that a lot of comics books have been stolen because there were way more Siskin and Whiskey books over here. Fortunately, the people steal that stuff. Let me see. Yes, this is the man I was looking for. So in this book, comic book, this is a Belgium comic book. You have this man called Jerome and he has this coat on. And in a minute, I'm going to show you upstairs. There is, where, uh, there is the same coat that Jerome always wears. So they were into comic books, they, they collected him. There we have the, the booted uh, kitten or yeah, the kitten with boots. This uh, Daimelische, I think this is a Dutch comic book. Look at it. It's probably from the children. But yeah, they loved a lot of comic books. They even have some magazine, uh, magazines about it. Wow. Oh, this is with Santa Claus. You know, with blackface and Santa Claus, blackface has been really controversial in the Netherlands and Belgium uh, recently. And you've probably heard it as well in, uh, in America. But in here, around this time, um, he was still presented as a black man that was the, de was the uh, helper of uh, Santa Claus. So, I don't think that it's too, uh, too controversial because it's been our tradition and I think it should stay that way. It's not like the black people get yeah, uh, disrespected or anything because they are just the staff of Santa Claus and it's just a tradition. Come on, the children love it and we shouldn't get rid of it. But yeah, that's people's opinions. I'm not going to go between that. I'm going to check out the living room because I'm really excited about it. Over here we have a little painting of a girl. He has some fruit with her. And then we have here, this like the African coast. This is a painting or more like a drawing. I think it's from Nigeria or something like that because it looks like that. The houses and everything. No, it's not Nigeria. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's somewhere in Africa. Wow. And this is Central Europe from the old days, from the Middle Ages. So they were really into paintings and stuff like that. Wow, a medicine cabinet, because the other lady was pretty old in the time. Uh, around 2009, she was around 90 years old. She needs some medicines, of course. What's this over here? Let's check it out. Wow, nice painting that they made. Here's some more comic books on the table. And what I noticed around our house was that the children probably have divided all the stuff inside of the house because everywhere there are tags, like this one, Carmen, it says. And so it, probably this table is from Carmen. And over there there are some more tags, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But first over here, Jody, on this side, we have this cool stove. 
This is actually a coal stove. We fuel it up like this. Here's the coal bucket. Take this one, grab the handle, and then fill it up like that. Then place it back and you have nice hot fire. Close it up. Wow. Top of here we've got some nice things and nice artifacts. Maria holding the child. The chandelier. Oh wow, yeah, I didn't notice that one. It's pretty neat, man. It's like brass or copper. Pretty cool one. Okay, then for the living room, their the sitting area actually. Uh, I not just noticed that there are more tags over here. This is from Camille, so Camille is probably the owner of this chair. <laughs> and here in the living room is another collection of her. And that's in the, 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 closet, the cabinet over here. So when we open it up, you can see her glasses collection. And like I said many times before, in Belgium we have a lot of different uh, collections, uh, uh, beer, uh, beer brands, and she collected the beer glasses for it. This is Trappist Rochefort, Rochefort. This is a French made, or yeah, more Walloon, uh, like the, the French part in Belgium. Let me see what they got more in here. This is a Dortmunder Union beer. This is a German beer. Wow, that's pretty cool to see. She got a whole cabinet full of these uh, these beer glasses. Let's close it back up. And here, over here we got another painting. Look at this. It's like the same style with the with the, with the houses and uh, with the huts and the African people. Yeah. She probably been there and got some art from over there. And then over here we got this this other chair. It's a one person chair. Pretty cool. Also pretty comfy. Got some springs in there. Look over here, Johnny. There's not a little tag with Sarah on it, not a grandchild. Yeah, but you say it's a grandchild, but maybe she also gave the things to friends or yes, family. Yes, probably. Maybe family she wrote friends. it down uh, before she died and they haven't collected it yet because it's staying in here for 10 years right now. Yeah. Why wouldn't they collect it? I don't know. Maybe Louise wrote these papers themselves and put them on the things because in the closet over here, in the cabinet over here, there are some more things. This is from Camille. We saw Camilla coming by a few times right now. And there are some more tags over here. Yeah, this is, uh, there's another Camilla tag. This is another tag that I can't read anymore. Here's another Camilla tag with the forks. Look at this. She tagged it all up. Wow, look at the plates, the china. Made in Belgium. They got a lot of things that are made in Belgium. I love these people, they are so, yeah, they left their country. Look at the plates. This is not one from this from Bavaria. Cool. Okay, let's head further into the home. Yes, let's go. From the living room, we walk straight into the hallway. And I want to test the electricity because I've tested it many times in Belgium homes and most of the times it still works. Let's see. Is that upstairs? I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow. It still works in this place as well. 10 years of being abandoned and the Belgian government is like let's give these people electricity that they need it they don't need it let's shut it off and uh, let's go upstairs upstairs right now and here we walk into this the main bedroom the master bedroom where Louisa probably slept with uh, with John and I told you downstairs about the coat the coat from Jerome and this is uh, oh shit. <laughs> This is the one, let's put on the hat. And uh, this is the one that we saw in the comic books. And you can see, he always wears this coat in the comic books and they have it at home in here. And this nice hat. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna show it to you, but the name of the city is in here. The city that we are in right now. So this hat is bought in the city that we're in right now. And that's pretty cool because nowadays when we need something, we just go online, amazon.com and order something. But back in the day and when these people lived, they, they went to the, the local stores, the, yeah, the mom and dad stores that we all love. But nowadays it's all so, yeah, it's not, not, it's nice anymore, not so social anymore. Look at this, Jordi. We have, we had one at home like, like, like this one. This is to put on your lights. Nowadays you say, Alexa, turn on the lights. But then it was like simpler times. I just love it. I just love it. Beautiful cabinet. 
beautiful closet. I always mix these up, closet, cabinet. <laughs> okay, let's check out the other bedroom, Jordi. This one is a little bit more modern. Um, not much to say about it. But the tags that we talked about, the Camilla is over here, Paul is on the bed, and Camilla has a bag over there. So Camilla gets a nightstand and Paul gets a bed. Divided nicely. <laughs> but yeah, um, much more there is not to see about this place. It was an incredible place to explore. I love that these people had like the fun and games, uh, the collections, the comic books. Yeah, it's just beautiful to see that people are happy and enjoying their lives. And uh, I want to thank you so, so much for watching this week's video. Me and Jordi, thank you very much. And we will see you next week as always. Bye, guys.